Across the river there, that's our state hospital asylum. It's all closed down, they're cleaning it up. We're gonna be getting it and turning it into a big amusement park, I think. I don't know, okay, stay God. tuned. Yeah. I'm up here today just doing some wiring on the pole lights. Got a little raise them up in the air today. Looking down at the ground, I'm up on a lift. This is some scary stuff here. Scary stuff. All right, we gotta go back to work. See you later. Thanks for tuning in. Later. Ah, it's me driving a lift back to the T building. Ooh, driving. Sweet. Just drove it two miles down the boulevard. Took about two hours. Not nah, really. All right, later. Uh oh. I found five more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey everybody, sorry about that. Should have taken a quick nap. Just got home from uh, the church. Woo, fourth day there. What's today? Saturday. 14th of September. Found some real cool stuff today. Holy cow, wait till you see this. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you have a good time here. The church. Got a weird signal and kept jumping around. First it was high, then it was mid, then it was in between. Now I know why. There was a quarter, a nickel, and two pennies in there. Woohoo! So I'm glad I double checked the plug three times. <laughs> All right. On to the next. I never tell you guys, today is uh, March, oh, I'm sorry, March, September 14th, Saturday. Back at the church, I'm gonna go get my magnifying glass because I can't see nothing without my glasses. I didn't bring my glasses. I got the Equinox out today, 800. Doing good. Got some clad, some funky stuff. But I got roundness. It's not a, it's not a coinage. I think it's a baton. Let me get a picture. And, uh, then I'll extract it. Alright, this is a fun morning already, Saturday. I gotta go meet somebody in a couple hours, so I figured I'd come back to the church and I'm glad I did. I hunted this area already too. You guys can see it. That's the 50 foot square. I hunted this this way already. Now I'm hunting it this way. Picked up a coin spill you just saw. A quarter, two pennies and a nickel. Let's see what this is. Yeah, I can't see. Let me get my glasses on. I have my magnifying glass out. Oh, it looks like a button with shank. Iron back, maybe. Let me brush it off, I'll get back to you. Okay, folks, just seemed to have like a little uh, rim around it with an indentation pattern. Two piece, iron back that's rusted. All right, on to the next. I'll take it. All right, I think I've only found one of these before. That's pretty cool, I like it. I think it's living out of lead. It's in pieces. I think I got more though. But it looks like it's a. Uh, not me. I thought they were beeping at me. Nope, not me. Alright, it's a little airplane. I think it goes together there. I got two more fins missing, but I got something right here in a plug. So let me uh, finish digging this out and I'll get back to you. Alright, I just found that wheel assembly for the front. The back seems to have its wheel assembly. I would have bolted on right there. I got another signal in the plug right here. I'm going to see what this piece is. Get right back to you. Alrighty, folks. I just found that little back wing piece. Front wing, front wheels. So all I need now is the other wing. I'm not getting any more signals. I don't know if there's a prop. Let me uh, break out the detector again. I'll see what I can find. Alright, guys. Just found this. I think it's one of those things you clip onto your instrument and it holds your sheet music for you. I'm not sure. So I'm going to say there and a clip there. It's got some fancy on it. I don't know. I don't know. What's next? Man, still at the church. Like I guess I don't normally don't show my wheat pennies, but this one's a little strange. It's 1921. But for some reason it's cut. Don't know why. I thought that was a little strange. Alright. Back down to the next good find. Hopefully something real good. Let's do something.
hey but while you're here go ahead and click that subscribe button don't forget to click that like button and if you want make sure you click the bell if you want to get notified of my live streams when i go live for my free giveaways and my uh anytime one of my videos come uh get aired thanks we'll see you don't forget once i hit 1650 subs i'm going to give away that one ounce silver round spread the word have a good one hey everyone found a buffalo nickel over by that tree and another one over here uh, last week but i had the at max out here with a small coil about the equinox my lab equinox 800 with the 11 inch coil today i did this area last week like i said going this way i'm going this way today i just found a 1921 weedy that was cut a 1914 1916 and a 1919 weedy and i just got this thing on dug it it's an 1895 V nickel. Oh, I wish it was an old Barber dime. That would have been sweet. 1895. Right, Plague Master Ford? That would have been sweet. But I'll take the V nickel 1800s all day. My first 1800s coin out of here. Sweet. That's what you gotta do. Kiss that relic. Mwah! Thank you, thank you. For that V nickel. Later. Well, folks, it's 10 a.m. Saturday morning. Do you know where your metal detecting friends are? Find out. Nah, it's breaking out in song, but I'm too close to the road. I'll try it again next time. Folks, I just dug this solid 16 on the knocks. I think it's lead. It's heavy. I don't know if it's a pistol ball, like a 36 caliber maybe. Uh, I've never seen one. I don't know if that's the way it looks after they get done pouring these balls or what. What's that little flat spot on the end for? Any ideas? Put it in the comments for me, please. I would love to know. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it too. Thanks, man. Yeah, you guessed it. Right in the middle of a church yard, church lawn, battery cable connection. <laughs> All right, on to the next. Ah, I've just been doing this side of the sidewalk here. I did the whole patch over there last week, a few days. I'm working my way this way between the sidewalk up here and the road the sidewalk. <clears throat> it's got a weird signal, it's like 30, 27, 25, 30. Went down and dug it, flopped the plug open, and I see that thing sitting there off the plug. So let me take a picture real quick and uh, I'll extract it and we'll see what it is. I think it's silver though. Oh, I hope so. It'll be my first one here. Right, let's get out and get it and see what it is. Oh. Oh, you know what? I probably should have got my. Oh, wait, I'm going to be able to see through the viewfinder here. Is that a rosy back? I can't see. Let's flip it over and find out. No, it looks like a Merc. Oh, I don't have my spray bottle on me. It's over in the car. Wait, is that a date? 1920 maybe? Sweet! First silver out of here. You know what you gotta do. Mwah! Thank you, thank you for that silver coin. Saved. Later, on to the next. All right, yeah, I went and got some water, sprayed it off. 1920s Merc. So I'll let you guys know I'm in uh, park one mode today. I said a field one. I wanted to try out park one. And it seems to be working. I think I grazed this thing. It was standing on edge like that. Right in front of her face there was a little mark. Don't know if I nicked her or what. But hey, another Merc. I'll take it. On to the next. Nah, this is awesome. Getting all kinds of funky targets here. All kinds of weird stuff coming out of the ground. I think I don't know if it's a cufflink. Part of a ring. I don't know. A button off of something though it's got fancy on it let's take a look see look at the shiny in the middle brass or something wants to come up or 
gold wash. I'm not sure. Look at that fancy though. Even the back's got some kind of fancy, but like I said, I don't know if that was a shank or a cufflink part. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You think this was like a cuff or collar button or some kind of a cufflink? I don't know. Cool though. Love it. All right, on to the next. I like it. Oopsie. Uh oh, they're coming to get me. I don't know if they're coming to get me or get you. Oh, they're going that way. Oh well. I thought I smelled smoke. Sweet. Now, I just got like a 15, 16, 17 signal, which usually means pull tab, beaver tail, square tab, something like that for me. I just started to pop this plug. I sit right here on the surface. I knew it wasn't deep. Let's see what this thing is. <laughs> I think it's just a snap or a button or something. Yeah. That's all. Cool as I know. All right, on to the next. Thought it was silver. I'm sorry. To commemorate the service of the men who represented the township in the Spanish-American War. 1898. The first one is Joseph B. Bannon Jr. That's a relative of mine. This one is the memory of the men in my town from 1861 to 1865 that fought and preserved the Union. So many of these names, Barton, Bevan, two bell manufacturers, Brown, Kenna, Fuller, Flood, Dutton, Rich, Young, strong so many of these kids I went to school with and these are their relatives that fought in the Civil War it's amazing this is for the men who served in World War One 1917 to 1918 Anderson big town name Cahill Cavanaugh Chapman House Cook Hitchcock Gorin Wow, Nichols. It's amazing. Strong again. Wow, Sexton. All right, finally today. It's Saturday, 14th or something like that. I don't know. I've been here for the fourth time today. I finally found my first silver, 1920 Merc. I think I just saw some gold. The shape of a roundness. Not a gold coin. Let's take a look. Just flopped it, got a good signal. Sitting there, this dirt is dry. I don't know why it poured in rain and there's no trees above us. This dirt dried out quick. Anywho, let me get this up here. Uh oh, it seems really light, like aluminum. But, uh, let me clean this off real quick and see if I can get any info off it. Get right back to you. Alrighty, it's almost one o'clock. I've been here since about, I don't know, seven to one, six hours. Found some stuff that I didn't find last week. That was cool. She got a 15 signal though. Shiny like a quarter. But I know it ain't a silver quarter. Let's go and take a look. I'm gonna take a picture first. All right, I'm right here where I found a bunch of those Boy Scout neckerchief slides last week. Right by the big tree here. Found my, the buffalo nickel right there. I don't know what this is. I don't know why I didn't know. Oh, I do now. It's a bottle cap. <laughs> I don't know what it says. Let's take a look. What does that say? I don't know. Hi, right, something. Take a picture. You gotta love it. It's one o'clock. I've been here six hours. I'm on my way out. I'm almost to my car. Just a couple feet away. I didn't find one yet today, but I think I just did. I found everything else today. Why not this? Can you say number 14 from this place? Woo! I think I see it. Just cut a nice little plug. I wasn't sure when I was going to dig it. Oh! Ah, oh, it's the Boy Scout one there. Alright. Let me get this cleaned off and uh, I'll get right back to you. Number 14 from this church. This is in that 50 foot by 50 foot area I did last week. 
Sorry, I missed it last week. But it rained this week, poured, so maybe it could give some good signals to the ground, hopefully. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. I don't know. Sweet! I'm going home. We'll do a wrap-up. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for tuning in. It's been fun. Hi to everyone. Talked to Digging with Deej this morning. Sent her a lot of my pictures of what I found today. She's out digging on a big collab this weekend. Should be fun. You guys should get out there and try it. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Later. Hey folks, just want to show you what I'm working downtown here. There's the churches in my town. That one and that one's still there. Uh, this one is now the post office or VFW. I think it's the post office. It's no longer there. This is the church I'm doing right here. This whole yard in here on Main Street. And then this is the church that burned down when the train went by on the railroad tracks and set up a spark and caught, burnt the church down. This is the old church in my town I'm doing. Hey folks, here's a trash for today's hunt. Real quick, iron, blah, blah, blah. All these were great signals. This is a live round, but I think it's a blank there for uh, funerals and stuff. Military funerals. Yeah, yeah. Nothing too much. Bottle caps. Not going to waste your time. Found another dozen Wheaties. Clad, quarters, nickels, dimes, a bunch of pennies. Yeah, for the cool and interesting stuff. Found this airplane, 489. The wheels were bent and broken off. The props missing. A little bit of green paint. That fin was broken off. It's laying there. This fin uh, wing is broken, laying there. The other one I couldn't find. I tried and tried and tried. Found another neckerchief slide from the Boy Scouts. Found this button there. Had a cool pattern type thing on it. Another snap. I thought that was silver for sure. A ring. Junkers, aluminum or something. This thing is a whole music, I think. I'm not sure. It says Monarch on it. How ironic. Patent pended for. I'm not sure. That was a 36 caliber lead ball, I think. It uh, it was dropped. I don't know if that's the way it looked when it came out of the mold or what. But yeah. That's what I think that is. 1920 Merc. How awesome was that? That was sweet. A 1895 V nickel. I know you can't see it. Maybe you can see the date there. Anyways, 1921 wheat penny that was cut. This I think is a cufflink. It's starting to shine, so I'm going to tumble that and see if I can see if that's silver. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the hunt. It was fun. I had fun. Let's see if I can get somebody to go detecting with me next time. Alrighty, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. Click the like if you liked the video. And leave a comment. I always love to read them. And also, make sure you turn in next week. Me and Ricky are headed back to Farmer John's. We were there last year, got permission, right by the uh, vegetable stand, and Ricky found himself a 1783 Hibernia. They got all the flowers cut down. It's no longer hay, it's corn. But between the road and the corn, it's all freshly mowed. So we're going to go in there and see what we can find. Stay tuned. See ya.